Now time for the second train. There we go, look at that. Let's try backwards. I'm assuming it's because they've been sat for, well, I haven't touched, that's been gone two years, so I'm assuming it's because they've been sat for the last two years, so they're going to need to run. Um, but so far, so good. Two trains running. Going to go for the next train now. Um, I'm not actually too sure if Dad ever see this one running. It was one of his newest ones. Um, it's actually a model of the Flying Scotsman. Uh, you can see it. There you go, look at that. So it is a model of the Flying Scotsman. I say I'm not sure if Dad actually see this one running. Let's, let's do it. Evening guys, a um, little bit of an update now, uh, not really been doing a lot, just testing trains, um, so far I have all these trains running uh, bar these three, um, they run but very very badly but all these ones they're running quite well at the moment, um, also got something else to show you for all you Harry Potter fans, Dad actually had a model of the Hogwarts Express. I'm not, again, not sure if he ever had this running or not. But I'm about to get it out and show you. So there it is. Look at that. In the original box as well. So. So. Let's try the Hogwarts Express. There we go. I've just been looking on um, Google and things like that. So this one, which is called uh, Sir Nigel Gresley. I've just found out this is uh, this train was made in 19, early 1970s. So this train is actually a lot older than I am. Um, and, albeit very slowly, he still runs. Be it very, very slowly for the moment. This train actually on eBay are going for 150 odd pounds, so it's worth quite a bit of money. So it's now the weekend again. Um, I've done a little bit more than uh, when you were last with me, uh, it's more sorting out and stuff like that. So, emptied a lot of boxes, got a lot more space underneath the desk now. Um, but I'm still in the mammoth process of testing everything. So, so far, everything in this pile here has been tested and working. These poor little chaps over there at the moment don't work. However, I still have all that to test. I have that box there, and I have another box down there. All that needs testing. So, I want to make sure it's all working. Um, before I decide on the track pan or anything like that. I want, I want to make sure it's all working so I know I've got to play with and stuff like that. And we'll go from there.
trying to get the couplings off. They're basically, the, I think it might have been Dad to put the coupling should have been that end because um, the train goes that way. Um, but some strange reason it's on the wrong end, so I'm just going to try and take it off and put it on the right end. But I can't seem to get the little. There we go. There we go. Awesome. I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but if you have a look at the front of the train, let me let me try and get you a bit closer. If you have a look at the front of the train when it starts, the number 62 actually lights up. So if you watch it as you come around. Got lights in the front of it. Let me back that up, let's see if we can show you that properly. So, so I can zoom it in for you. So when you start it, number sixty two lights up. Now I don't actually remember what was in these when I wrapped them up, so it's going to be a surprise to me as well. Unfortunately, a lot of, a lot of these I don't have boxes for anymore. Um, Dad never, I don't know if they bought them without boxes or never had boxes for them. Um, so yeah. Dad having the Virgin 125, I believe he's got quite a few of them.